Charles and Lucia. This is Dr. Neil Chaitan, International Social Skill and Crime Reduction Specialist, bringing you great news today. No, I mean phenomenal news. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no doubt that over the past years, and even more recently over the past month, the homicidal rate in your beautiful Helen of the West has been on the incline. Within one month, the last month or so, 10 people lost their lives to gun violence. And within that mix were mothers, grandmothers, and even a two-year-old toddler. And so the news looks bleak. It looks hopeless. But I got great news. Ladies and gentlemen, as of January 25, 2023, we landed in your island with our Canadian High Impact Crime Reduction Program, Project Stop and Think. This program is meant to deal with the roots of crime and violence. You see, many times, ladies and gentlemen, we only deal with the fruit of crime and violence. But if we don't medicate the root, then the fruit is going to come back every year. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to let you know that over the last three months, we rolled out a pilot project here in St. Lucia. Amidst all the gun violence that were going on, we kept focus, we kept our head on, and I'm happy to let you know that we have engaged in our prevention component of the program six of your schools. You see, we got to deal with help young people. That's the next crop of adults coming up to deal with their respect issues, deal with their impulse control, their anger management, and their revenge issues. If we hope to see a better generation, and so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to let you know, over the last three months, we've engaged from Castries, the, the Entreport Secondary School. We have, we've worked with the SDA Academy. We work with Bokai Sec Secondary. We came, we came further south. We worked with the Grand River Secondary, then the Clendon Mason in Denary. And of course, we ended with our sixth school being Beanfield Secondary in Bruceville. That was the, comp the preventive component. But we've also done intervention in the communities. You see, we want to we give a, a message that is adaptable for every, every area. And so, in our communities, we've also run Project Stop and Think. And we've been in, uh, in, in the Fuashio community in Castries, the Conway community, the Grand River community, the Denner River. We've also been in one of our largest uh, sessions down at the Denner village by the fishing port. And ladies and gentlemen, we also finished down in Bruceville, where again, young people, children, even adults and, and, and seniors came out with part of this intervention. And then of course, on the weekends and Fridays and sometimes Saturdays, we would go into the bodily correctional facility. You see, ladies and gentlemen, there are men and women in there who are serving the time. They've lost. They have to deal with the anger issues. They have to deal with the confrontational issues. They got to deal with the respect issues if they're going to come out and transition back into the community as productive and respectable citizens. I'm happy to let you know, over 70 men we have been working with in the bodily. So, what is the great news, Dr. Chaitan? Hey, my friends, on Saturday, the 22nd of April, at 2.30, history will be made in St. Lucia. Never has it been done before, ladies and gentlemen. There will be over 450 people that will graduate from this program, take a respect pledge, a respect pledge to respect themselves first, respect other people despite their differences, this respect people's property, respect people's opinion, respect people's lives. They will graduate with a Canadian Social Skills Certificate. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be exciting. We have invited the Prime Minister to give the feature address. We've invited MPs. We've invited the Commissioner of Police. They all will be there with a number of dignitaries to celebrate with our graduates. It will be at the 
the, the, the grounds of the Denary Primary School. There will be a beautiful canopy set up and we'll be hosting a spectacular graduation ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope that when this pilot is finished, we are going to be rolling out to roll out this program in 20 other communities around the island, in 20 other high schools, ladies and gentlemen, where we'll be saturating St. Lucia, hopefully, with our always stop and think before you proceed mantra. We are challenging the, the, the media. Ladies and gentlemen, every time the gunshot goes up and a body falls, a bloody body, media would race to the spot to give a snapshot of that awful oh, event. Ladies and gentlemen, a most spectacular one is happening, a positive one, one that's going to showcase St. Lucia, not only across the Windward Islands or across the OECS, but across the world. People in the diaspora, it'll be great to have you looking on as your people stand strong as nation builders. I'm looking forward to see you there on the 22nd. Again, Saturday, April 22nd at 2.30 at the grounds of the Denary Primary School. I'm looking forward. Please don't disappoint me. Let's celebrate together. God bless you.